Hello guys, my name is Dr. Lee, also known as Dr. Pimple Popper, and I'm here to answer all your acne questions. I do always compare pops to food, um, but what is exactly inside of a pimple? You may don't think cottage cheese or grits are really inside a pimple. Well, a pimple is different than a cyst or a lipoma or a lot of these other pops that I might compare to food. If it's a pimple and it's like a pustule, that is really white blood cells or pus or purulence, which is really bacteria that's been attacked by your own white blood cells and macrophages and neutrals. And interestingly, people think that the pimple is doing all of this or making it really red and angry and uncomfortable, but it's actually our body responding to the bacteria or the, or the um, kind of invasion of your skin with bacteria. And so your body is really recruiting the immune system, recruiting white blood cells and neutrophils um, macrophages and things like that to go and attack this bacteria and sort of push it out of the skin and that's why the life the life cycle of a pimple is really you feel it first maybe you know it's coming up and then it gets kind of red and more uncomfortable and it's like it's coming to the surface that's because your body is actually trying to push this negative energy or this negative stuff out of your body and, uh, and it's actually your body working in your favor blackheads and whiteheads turn into actual pimples? Well, when you have clogging of your pores and blackheads and whiteheads forming, this is where bacteria can get involved. So that's like the perfect environment for bacteria to kind of grow and thrive within your pores. It finds this little home there, a, a nice little blackhead or whitehead to kind of um, feed off of and that's when it gets red and angry and that is actually because your own body is deciding is realizing that there's bacteria there and trying to like destroy the bacteria so that's why you get some redness there that's why you get pus so really the pimple is all due to bacteria and inflammation and that's where the redness is and the painful the pain and the discomfort so really what you want to do is is use a product that's going to target bacteria and really try to destroy the bacteria that's there and decrease the bacterial count on your skin. Great ingredients that you want to look for to help prevent um, bacteria from forming and thriving in the area are benzoyl peroxide and sulfur. Benzoyl peroxide is an, a common ingredient in acne treatment regimens that helps to destroy the bacteria and prevent them from growing. So by doing that, you're gonna actively treat those red and painful, uncomfortable pimples. How do you stop pimples from forming in the first place? Well, the most important thing to know is that it is not your fault. A lot of this has to do with the type of skin you have, the age you are, your hormones, all these sort of factors. Genetics play a role. So just know that it's not your fault. That's the most important. Um, but they do start, like the building blocks are blackheads and whiteheads. That's really where it all begins. The most important thing is to try to keep your pores clear. Try to prevent blackheads and whiteheads from forming because those are really the starting point of acne. So how do you prevent blackheads and whiteheads? Well, you want to help clear that those pores of dirt and debris and dead skin cells. So you really want to use like an exfoliating chemical such as salicylic acid. That's probably one of the most commonly used uh, exfoliators, chemical exfoliators, because they're gentle on all skin types. And actually also it crystallizes to a small enough size to settle down within your pores and really help to keep them clear. And so by doing that, you're gonna have less clogging of the pores and less black, fewer blackheads and whiteheads forming.